Hey guys, and welcome back. So I would like to start by saying thank you to all of those who have subscribed. Um, I also want to do apologies for not uploading for so long. Fortunately, homework has been keeping me kind of busy. Um, so my typical upload schedule will likely be Mondays from this point on. And that's pretty much all the announcements I have. So let's get to building. So in my last couple videos, I asked for ideas on what I should build. And um, one of the recommendations I got was creeper holes. And I agree, because creeper holes, honestly, are, are really ugly. And you don't always have the blocks that you need to fill them in. Well, you don't have to fill them in. So I'm actually going to use TNT just because I don't want the creepers wandering around. And TNT also makes a slightly bigger hole. Um, so we're going to get our TNT and our flint and steel. And we're just going to make... We'll, we'll start with one hole for now. We can add another one if we need. We might need to fix the path at some point. No. Oh well. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have our lovely knot little explosion hole here. So first idea is you could make a little flower garden. So my favorite flowers to use are corn flowers. Actually, we're just going to go to the decoration box. So corn flowers, lily of the valley, blue orchid, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that because I'm probably going to get spammed with comments about it if I do. Anyway, so obviously real simple. You just kind of too high. Just kind of place some flowers down willy-nilly. I wouldn't suggest making a pattern because it makes it kind of look weird. You can kind of do a pattern if you want. So you can see I'm kind of putting two blocks between the flowers here. I'm just going to put one there, maybe there and there. I'm just kind of put these around wherever I'm going to move my little the valley and I try and I'm let I try and have like a equal display I guess of the flowers oops um but you can always do like a larger amount of one type than other type so just kind of put these around and I'm going to switch to the orchid and putting those down and you can you can leave some blank areas if you want. I'm just going to fill this whole area and make it look like a little, I don't know, flower field I guess. <laughs> um, and some more of these. So yeah, you just kind of have a little flower garden now in our creeper hole, and obviously the grass will go back, so it wouldn't won't look as <laughs> dirty. Um, so there's idea number one. Idea number two is move those out of our main inventory. So we're just gonna place the TNT like there. So idea number two, if, if you're feeling lazy and you just want a real simple way out of this, you can obviously just take some bone meal and just kind of, just kind of spam that maybe everywhere. And obviously you'll, you'll need to wait for the, the grass to grow. Oop, that's not the right one. The grass to go back. You can always place grass if you're in creative. Um, you'll you'll get a few flowers here and there. It won't look that good. Um, but you know it, it will it will make it look nicer than just a giant dirt hole. Um, yeah that's that's really just if you don't have anything you're lazy and yeah. Anyway um 
Next idea, I think this one might be my personal favorite. Just because I, I really like the design and I just like the way I did it. Um, and in case you're wondering what I mean by that, I have, if you haven't seen my past videos, um, I've been on Pocket Edition up till now. And I have a world that I do sample builds on so that I have an idea of what I'm building for you guys. So the idea for this one is just kind of like a simple little farm. So we're going to plant potatoes and we, we could plant some carrots, I guess. Yeah, we'll plant some carrots. Um, so I'd suggest just finding little nooks like this one. This is perfect. And just placing the water and then see it kind of runs down really weird. And we, we don't need that much water. So I think we're going to place some dirt there. I'm going to have another one there, and then, hmm, I don't like the way that's flowing. Okay, scratch that. We're placing it elsewhere, because, oh, here's a good spot. Okay, so for this one, dirt there, dirt there. And one block of dirt there. And then we just have a nice little waterfall. Kind of. Pull that. Yes! Pull that. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nice. Sorry. I'm experimenting. Uh, kind of little area. And then we're probably going to need another water source. So let's do one there. And that should just, yep, flow right down. And then... I'm just going to fill this bottom layer of blockage in just because it makes everything easier. There we go. And then we're just going to take, I need a gardening tool. That's right, we're not going to, oh lordy that's loud. So we're just gonna farm our little farm out, basically. And then... Do, 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 do. So I think we're just gonna make like a little... kind of ring of potatoes on this upper block, and then we're going to add some carrots, lots and lots of carrots, and there we go, you have a little garden, and obviously it doesn't look too good now because the water hasn't really um, added nutrients <laughs> to the soil, and we still kind of need our crops to grow, but I promise once your crops grow in, this farm looks really adorable and it's just kind of precious. So, final design. Let's see if I can add some more. Um, bone meal to this. Get rid of the dirt because we will not need it for our next one. So, yeah. Oops. Uh, still not quite gotten the hang of this game, in case you couldn't tell. Um, and if you're new to my videos, like I said or mentioned earlier, um, I've been Pocket Edition up till about a month ago, so I'm still kind of getting the hang of Bedrock. No flowers yet, just grass. That's lovely. Um, so this next idea is if a creeper blows up, say like you have a nether base and you have a creeper that spawns and blows up in the nether. Or maybe your friend is mad at you and they blow up your base, whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little hole and then we're going to get nether rack. And then we're just going to get some twisting vines, some weeping vines. 
honestly just go to the decoration block section. Um, we'll get a couple wither. Well, no, we don't want any wither roses. We'll get fungus. And we should probably get some roots as well. Getting rid of that bone meal. Um, hmm. I think we're going to stick with these. Yep. Yep, I like that. Okay. So we're going to take the nether rack and we're just going to kind of make this seem like it was a hole in the nether because I'm too lazy to f uh, make another portal and, you know, blow up the nether. As fun as that seems. <laughs> um, Lordy, sorry, one of my friends is messaging me about homework. There we go. Just going to put them on. Okay. Speaking, well, yeah, I'm just going to, so while we're doing this, um, I am a huge fan of like Dream and Tommy in it and Wilbur Soot and Skeppy and just that whole uh, group of people. So if you are with me in that group of YouTubers, um, first of all, have you seen the drama that's been going on lately? And if you're not, I encourage you to go check it out because you know, we're in quarantine, and it sucks, and they have some really good content, and it's pretty much been keeping me entertained for most of quarantine. It's also my only break from homework. <laughs> um, so there was this huge war on the Dream SMP server, and then they had an election, and there's just, there's so much going on. Um, I encourage all my friends to check it out because, like I said, it's entertaining, keeps me busy. Um, and yeah, it's really good. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that because I don't want to spoil too much if you do feel like going to check them out. Okay, so we're done with our little fake nether hole sadness. <laughs> um, so we're just going to take the twisting vines and we're just going to place them. Just kind of make this look good, I guess. Have that there. I really need to get a hole in like the whole flying thing because on pocket edition you have like a whole up down arrow thing. This one you just go up or you're not flying. <laughs> Um, so we're going to take our weeping vines and we're just going to kind of place these random, um, we don't want it to seem too light, like a, we don't really want it to seem like a player placed it. Um, we want it to seem like, okay, I don't know why these aren't placing, I had this problem the other day too, it's probably just me being stupid, it's probably something they need to like hang off of or whatever. Actually, I can test that out. <laughs> What do you know? Learn something new every day. So obviously if you have something weird like that, you can you can hang roots down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we don't want this to really seem like a player made it. We just want it to... Forgive me for saying this, but I really like Bedrock Edition better. Ah, uh, this is making me crazy. So... Obviously, I haven't gotten used to the new Nether update yet, as can be seen by that whole mess of what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we don't want this to really seem like players were here. We just kind of want to fill it in and make it look neat and, you know, pretty instead of just a random hole. Yeah, so here are our four designs. We have the, here we go, 
flower garden and like I said um, you can obviously do your personal preference of flowers this is just kind of the one I'd go with um, you know it kind of matches maybe player aspect or personal preference <laughs> um, we have this this lazy method which is just spamming bone meal everywhere and you might get lucky and get a flower or two, but it's it's probably just going to end up as grass, so... I would suggest maybe not doing this. Yeah, because you're probably just going to end up with a whole of grass, and that's not the best thing. You can make a little farm, grow some of my crops. Sorry about the aggressive clicking. <laughs> there we go. See? Told you it would look slightly nicer when the crops grow in. And I don't know why the water I did on my other farm just looked a lot neater because it had like a cool like zigzag prop like pattern. And this just looks weird I guess I don't know anyway you can figure it out however you want nether just kind of place some plants if they will play some, I'm looking at you looking at all of you um <laughs> yeah so that's really just our designs for today and this is how to oh it makes a little pattern I get easily distracted this is how to fix up holes whether they're TNT or creeper or Come what may. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, almost forgot to mention. Don't forget to put your ideas for future builds in the comments. I always love hearing opinions, so plus it gives me plenty of ideas instead of just uh like rebuilding my old builds. I get new ideas, like creeper holes and they're really fun because then I get to be creative and try new things instead of just rebuilding my old stuff <laughs> yes yeah, so bye bye farewell and thank you for watching